After the loss, we go and we focus on Lucifero. We see the aftermath of his ass whooping, the embarrassment that the King of Devils has actually have received. But the next step of seeing what's going to happen is pretty disturbing. After all, we start off with the chapter with the return of Black Clover after a three months hiatus in the seventh layer of the underworld. As Lucifero's body is literally on the ground as blood and guts are everywhere while pieces of his body it starts to heal up because we can notice that his horns the horns that Asta has chopped off in the beginning of the chapter and towards the end of the chapter are fully healed and as he is regenerating his body because remember lucifero was only 50 percent manifest in the real world so of course his other half is still in the underworld but there's a clock underneath his beaten destroyed body and we notice that is a time magic attribute so who's appear right next to him it is lucius as he is standing right next to lucifero and lucifero is talking to lucius and saying that you fool i may have lost half of my body but i'm still the king of devils lucifero as he is staring at lucius but lucius just not paying attention to lucifero he's just like bro you just lost and on top of that you are a pawn to my plan and so he showcased how useless lucifero is by extracting his heart because you see the heart coming out of lucifero's body and as the heart is leaving out of his body you can see that lucifero is looking like what are you doing as lucis began to say i process the most powerful magic in the world that's right however in this world we are the ones who are superior magic we are humans as the heart continues to go closer and closer until the next scene we hear a munch so it illustrates that lucius is eating devil's heart and that is insane that the fact that this man is eating devil's heart because munch towards the end and how the heart was getting closer to lucius's face it is very very strange we don't know what is the math and the science between Lucius' plan? All we know is that he wants undying bodies, but all of this is really, really going crazy. So we go back into the Clover Kingdom, and it's been a year and three months since the Battle of the Spade Kingdom. As Asta, he is having a celebration because he has been promoted in your magic night first class as asta is right in front of all the magic knight captains and they said that you are a few steps away of achieving your dream even though you know has already has been grand magic knight therefore that you know you know he couldn't be here for your ceremony because he's off doing a mission which illustrates that you know still lives in the clover kingdom despite the fact that he is the prince of the spade kingdom and after everything that went down he still is a resident and he's still going to the process of becoming the wizard king of the clover kingdom despite the fact of his royalty status and his probably his royalty obligations in the spade kingdom because his mom is still alive and taking control over the spade kingdom because that's their queen and even though you know he wants to stay in the clover kingdom he still wants to go ahead and achieve the dream of becoming the wizard king so despite the fact that he's a prince he'd rather become a wizard king besides being a king but that probably might change in the series later on so during that course of time Figolion, he is telling Asta like hey since Donatio has been mysteriously disappeared and we don't know where he's at we put the trial on suspension but this trial is important because there's people in the clover kingdom that does not trust you no matter what because of the fact that you have devil powers and devil activities and you can also notice that Asta's arm is actually covered the fact that he doesn't won't get so many backlash 
of his devil powers especially his arm because you know you're walking around in public and you have a possessed devil arm like that would be weird so even though asta saved the clover kingdom and the heart kingdom and the spade kingdom the clover kingdom people some of them does not trust asta but most people do and over time as asta continues doing his job he will win those people over but during this course of time we're all going to celebrate and we're all going to you know praise you for your achievement so during that course of time while everyone is eating the words on the street is is that okay who's going to be the next wizard king is it going to be nozelle is it going to be figolion is it going to be Marileona? but all of them turn that position down because of the fact that after the battle with lucifero they all knew they're all weak because literally lucifero whooped all of their asses without any effort so during that course of time they all they're not interested in the position but we do get an update on the spade and the heart kingdom as they fully recover after the aftermath of the spade kingdom invaded them so during that course of time yami appears and he starts to talk to the magic knights kingdoms like jack and Pigolion. but all of a sudden he goes ahead and he talks to charlotte but charlotte goes ahead and she just runs because of course she is so nervous about yami but then we also get in other updates as well as the golden dawns you know and other black bulls members are investigating the outskirts of the clover kingdom as well but back to charlotte so yami he goes and he heard after finral told him that yo she confessed your love to you when you almost died so that's why she's acting all weird she says all that stuff like you know she loves you and that she wants to be with you and all that other stuff and that how much she cares about you but then all of a sudden um, yami he's like all right i gotta take a break and as he's taking a break, he's thinking of what Finro told him. And as he's sitting there in the toilet, taking a dump. And so during that course of time, Asta, he calls out Sister Lily. And Mombosa and Noel is also thinking of what can they do to Asta because both of them, they have a huge crush for Asta. So during that course of time, we see Nero, she goes ahead and she talks to both of them. And she's like, hey, yo, Asta has a confession. And so they're both like running around. And of course, they're being like nosy because they want to know about the confession. So they go ahead and follow Asta while he goes ahead and talk to Sister Lily. But then so Asta, he goes ahead and he did his one last proposal to Sister Lily saying, please marry me. I turn 18 and this will be my last proposal i will definitely will make you happy so please and it looks like asta finally has reached the same height as sister lily finally this man finally grew some couple of inches so noel and mimosa they are actually very shocked of what's going on they're like wait hold up what so now they can finally understand the girl that Asta really want to confess his love to. So during that course of time, Sister Lily is just like, bruh, I, I'm sorry, but I can't marry you. You're like a family to me. I see you as a brother, so I can't marry you. So Asta's like, I understand now that I don't want to give up, but I have more important things to do. I can't change how people feel or anything so i'm going to continue to do my vow and remain that vow has unchanged that i will become the wizard king and so after hearing all of that sister lily starts thinking of all the time that asa kept saying that i will become the wizard king and she says i know you can do it as she's smiling so after they've been talking we see who approached to asta and it is the wizard king lucius or how he pretends to be julius and he's clapping and he says congratulations you made it this far but this is the end and it says at the bottom at the last page the wizard king has appeared question mark so this is going to be 
crazy and it seems like you know lucius he got out of his disguise so he's going as normal as he always is because he appears to have his black hair so this is just going really really crazy at this current moment because we don't know what's going to happen next i doubt that it's probably going to be a fight especially since this is the last final arc so there's going to be a lot of build up of what's going on but man that ending was like a cliffhanger especially after a three months break but let me know down in the comment section what you guys feel like what's going to happen to austin in the next chapter and what is lucius plan is to do with like the hearts and how he's going to construct his plans for undying bodies but other than that let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this chapter what's your favorite feelings what's your favorite moment and other than that, if you guys do like the video, please give it a like, subscribe, and remember, always be decent. This is the Monzo Man. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and be safe out here.